I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Tell me where that man is at. Till you find that man, you dead up here, man. You dead, man. Right. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers at NotificationGangRiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Got my guy with me. So Thomas, Peter, nobody that knows bodies. What is popping with the population? There is a battle mm -hmm. that lives in my head rent-free. Mm -hmm. And it is none other than Pat Stay versus k Shine. Mm -hmm. And I don't really keep it a whole stack with you. I don't really feel like this is getting like the, 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 the attention and the love and the admiration that it should be getting. That's why I wanted to start the, the, the blog, the video, the episode, whatever you want to call it off with that. So what we'll do in this one, we're just going to do the final, let's just do the final prediction of everybody that will do all the battles, even final prediction of who's going to win versus who's not. But I wanted to start with this battle. Um, mm. I've said it before. Mm. I think this is K-Shine's most dangerous battle that he's taken. Yeah. Um, Pat Stay is not a gangbanger. Mm -mm. He's not repping no set. He's not even repping the state. Right? Y'all about to say he ain't, he ain't repping repping America. 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 <laughs> and he is able to do a lot. You know what? A K Shine winning against a Pat Stay to me would prove a lot. A hell of a lot. Because he's been able to do so much against the people that. I, you know, I like him. You know what I'm saying? Like he, like you put him against, you put him against anyone that's anywhere near him in height, vocal projection, performance. He's going to destroy him. Mm. He did it with K. Shine. Mm. I mean, he did it with Chess. He did it with E. Hard. All throughout this year, he's just running through people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dum dum, a cigarette. Put one hole over chest like at one time. He's smoking cigarette. He's going crazy on him all year mm. long. I just need your thoughts, your perspective, and your last. This is it. Straw in the hat, who's winning between Pat Stay and K Shine? We got to handle this shit right now. Whatever you said before, it don't even matter. We just want to market right now. I I I still can't like make a definitive decision. Um, but you know, I, if I if I gotta go with the gun to my head, um, let me let me let me let me let me, let me just weigh out my options here. Okay, okay. So one time I was incorrect, hold a nigga chest. One time, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Move it. He's like slide. Was like I was there. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm, look at you go. Okay. Then you know, look at you go. Okay. See, look at me while I'm just. Oh, that was pause worthy. That's pause worthy right mm -hmm. there. Let me see. It is on a volume, but then again, Pat Stay definitely did what he did in London against Tay Rock. And so my man is, that was a thing, right? Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. But between Kayshawn and Tay Rock, who won that battle? Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. All right. My bad. I had to do my Rain Man calculations. Okay. So with that being said, I, I'm going to go with, I think Kayshawn is going to win this battle. Mm. The reason why I'm going to say Kayshawn is going to win this battle, he is more of the home team. This is volume. This is more his speed. Okay. On a volume, Kayshawn may have got that loss versus Danny. On a volume. Right. That, that That's like probably like the only time that, that, you know what I'm saying? That, that, you feel me? Like Pat Stay also was on a big stage. He's a, more of a big stage type battle rapper. I think this is the first battle that I've heard. I think this is the first battle Pat Stay is actually in, and it's a small setting. Mm -hmm. Like, like not many people in the room. So, therefore, it's like a lot of... There's a lot of things that will be leading towards Pat Stay not winning this battle because somebody just might be looking at it as corny. Right. The gas level in that room, you already know that. Kayshawn is from the States. He's going to be bringing the propane tanks. Mm -hmm. I got K-Shine in this one. I got K-Shine in this one. This battle doesn't get the love that it deserves because I, I really believe that it's going to bring live up to the expectation that I hope it would. Right. So, I, I, I'm going to go with K-Shine. I'm going to go with K-Shine 2-1. Yeah. That's the hardest decision I probably had to make today. And it's fire, too. I mean, like, you you looking at somebody who Pat Stay is one of those guys that when they put Pat Stay in front of you, it's like, he don't really lose often, you know? And, and he's going to... I feel like this is a battle where Pat Stay can prove 
himself, even though he's proved himself a bunch of times, but mm. that doing it in this room, and the only reason why I'm taking K Shine in this battle, but the reason why I take him in this battle is because he's had experience in this situation right. during mm -hmm. this pandemic. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Pat stay. Right. You know what I'm saying? K Shine has been doing it repetitively over and over and over. That first during. round, that first round might go to Pat, but it is it is a it's a, it's a long it's a long game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I want to go next. Arsenal versus Jerry West. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry West, a guy that I've seen since his inception. He's made strides and he's came up. I will say this: Jerry West has came up. Like he's his come up has been kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, he said at the end of last year he wasn't getting the battles that he deserved. He took that step out on a limb, took a shot at smack, then he started getting booked for bigger and bigger battles. Mm. And you know, without the whole long story of who he's battled, what he's done, we all know that already. He's battling Arsenal right now. This, when you get Arsenal, when you start getting names like that, that's when the motherfuckers start opening up the budget and spending a little money on you and shit. So when you show up for this one, you gotta show up ready to dance. I mean, you might have had some other battles before you did your thing. You went crazy versus Danny, but when you start, when you go from Danny to Arsenal, they're opening up the books. Arsenal don't cost, 500. You know what I'm saying? He ain't one of them $500 opponents. He is one of them ones. I need Jerry West to do his motherfucking thing. What's up? They've sent so many killers to Jerry West. Yeah. And Jerry West has sent them back a uh, little bit, a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. I may have not finished the job. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, Once right. again, another leg twitcher. You know what I mean? Like, Jerry West, he can die, but it's hard for him to die. Mm -hmm. He comes with three rounds. Right. Usually a haymaker in one, two, or three of those rounds. Mm -hmm. The things that we were, the things that people said that they were tired of seeing. Mm -hmm. um, literally all 2020, he couldn't have really had it because he didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like 2020, you couldn't have your man's with you, your entourage with mm -hmm. you. So the, you know, like all of the tricks and he stuff like that. Up, he clean up. So he had to do it himself and, it's, and he still prevailed with it. Mm -hmm. Even the changing to look different on a quarantine battle. Come on, Jerry West is constantly reinventing himself. They've sent Jerry West so many killers. And I feel as though that they're down to the bottom, bottom of their barrel of like, for show killers. Right. Because when you get a Rum Nitty, and when you get a Geechee Gotti, like, I, after that, you, you're you looking at like a Bruz, you're looking at your Shugs, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're looking at those type of things, but you're sending the Arsenal. Arsenal ain't nothing to play with. Arsenal just had his last little battle with his little Slippy D Blitz, but we'll take that. Right. With all of that being said, huh, I stopped. Usually I'll go with the vet. Okay. I, I'm going with Jerry West in this one. I'm, I'm going with Jerry West. Mm. Arsenal went crazy versus official. Yes. He did. He did. He did. Yes. He did go. He went off in the um in that joint. He was wilding all throughout that battle. Um, he showed that he could still do it on a high level, and I respected his pen and I respected what he did. Jerry West um, is on a mission, and I don't feel like. You know, this is a remix that I feel like. Mm -hmm. I don't feel I don't like feel somebody like. is going to wait to get their shot, their real shot, almost four years, five years later. Honestly, that was, uh, it's damn near five years later because him and Emerson Expected. Kennedy was, uh, oh. him and Emerson Kennedy was 2016. Yeah. So for, it's about to be 2021. To wait this long to be on a volume, mind you, Easy the Black Cap is on a volume in like fucking three weeks. Jerry West is finally making it to a big card, and it took him damn near five years. I just call it like I call it so I don't spoil it. I don't talk about nothing but the facts. My name is just the facts, and I'm not going to adjust the facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. Like, he, he, he had to work to get here. I don't feel like he's coming up here to play around and lose no battle mm. in no in no volumes, especially in that small room setting where he's been wilding and shit like that. And the thing is, it works for him. Jerry West punches at a high rate. Mm -hmm. He don't punch at the super high rate like the rum nitties and all of that other shit, but that's almost impossible to do. But at that rate where he's at, with the rapid flow, he don't he don't really he don't choke, he don't stumble, you know what I'm saying? He's not prone to do any of that. He takes good angles. Mm. I like uh Jerry West two one in this one. I do. I mean you figure he's he's if not number three of the guys in his team, mm -hmm. you know, the people that's part of his clan, he's probably the third. And that ain't bad. You know no, 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 no. The third still pull, pull up numbers. The right, third, right, still, right, third right. still get a ring. No, definitely. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. that. Uh, I, I can go with Jerry, too. Yeah. Chilla Jones versus B Dot. This uh, is the split. This battle is the split. of the dynamic pens. These guys are, are phenomenal with the bars. 
Uh, I could talk about their accolades and what they've done for uh, a whole hour, honestly, but we're yeah. not going to do that. Uh, Chilla Jones has came back on URL this year, taking it by storm, had a lot of good battles. B-Dot has been rising. I mean, this has been like one of this is his, he's really been doing good this year. Mm -hmm. Nothing but classic battles. Um, you know, set his career in the right pace. Did not take an Ultimate Madness, which I really felt like was a good idea for him because I'm sure he got a call for it. But his, I don't really feel like his style is catered to battling every fucking three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like I Chill. felt like, no beat up. Yeah, oh yeah. no, no, no. I don't. I don't think that that would have been a good idea for him. I'm mm -hmm. glad if he did. I, I don't want to speculate. But if he did get that call, I'm glad he dubbed it because that's not really good. I think he did say he got that call. But anyway, him versus Chilla Jones is here. Chilla Jones, phenomenal pen, uh, able to punch, able to scheme, things like that. But B dot to me, right now, it's like when the right opportunity meets the right time, you know, and you get that shot, and it's in these small rooms where B dot has been phenomenal, and. While I don't take nothing away from Chilla Jones and what he does, to me right now, I just feel like this is B-Dot's year, this is his time. He's got so much in store. I mean, he's, 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 B-Dot is the one to beat in this. Like, if you, cause the thing is, Chilla Jones gets to the punch. He's got punches, he, he, he's got a good cadence, he's got bars, but B-Dot gets to it so fast that in set amount of time and I heard that Chilla Jones wanted four minute rounds or four thirties and B Dot was like no. Nah. But in that set amount of time, B Dot is able to just get so much more material out. And while Chilla Jones is a phenomenal angler, B Dot is a phenomenal angler too. But anyway, it's on you. I got B Dot two one. Long story short. I'm gonna have to go Rain Man again, because if I'm not mistaken, there's been the same parallel look like literally you know when, when chilla jones came back they they sent a bunch of killers to him they they sent him new jersey twerk and they sent him Geech, uh they said uh was, no was it Geech? yeah they sent him Geechee Gotti, and they sent him rum diddy they, they sent him new jersey twerk like they sent a lot of killers to chilla jones so like hey welcome back huh let me show you what we working with over here but be that b dot has also been on the same run like i mean once again he has a rum diddy on his belt that was on the roof. Mm -hmm. it, it came to the point where it was rooftop dot. Now, if this battle was on the roof, therefore, I would have a way different look. You know what I'm saying? This was right. on the roof. Hey, uh, B Dot, you might have this one. But then again, Chilla was on the same roof and he had the same type of battle stuff. All right. If I had. To, not to mention, Chilla Jones has always been a student to the game, so he's always been paying attention to what people love and what people don't like. He also had to revamp his whole style, came back, now he's over here cooking. The problem is, is that now that he's at that solidified spot, you're going up against somebody who ain't trying to lose that spot. Nobody in this battle is going to die. Let's, 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 let's call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. This battle isn't for who's going to reign supreme. Now the only thing we want is a classic. It has nothing but the le nothing less than a classic. So if you're going to go with B-Dot, I'm going to go with Chiller. Experience over the, the, the hunger. Ooh. Mm. Okay. 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 I mean, that's how you feel, I, and, I, and that's this. I don't really feel like, and I feel like, and I don't feel like there's really a wrong decision in this. Yeah, because cause even over. real sick was trying to come at, like even real sick was trying to chop Chilla head off. Mm -hmm. Chilla was showing you a way different, like first and second round. You could. I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. I just, I, we also have been recapping all year long, so it's just like you know, I gotta. I try to make it look like, make it look like it's even, and this one, deadlocked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ugh. Ill Will versus Danny Myers. Ill Will has been on a war path. Mm -hmm. He's not really lost any battles this year. Mm -hmm. He's damn near not lost any rounds this mm -hmm. year. Uh, he battled just not too long ago, beat two people on the same day, card for card, boom for boom, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. He's battling against Danny Myers. I'll make this quick. Uh, yeah. This is a battle that Danny Myers is going to have to show me and show the world that he's going to be able to keep up with the ill will because ill will has so many jokes, so many bars. Uh, he can rebuttal. He's got cadence. Danny can rebuttal too. And ill will is liked. So, you know, it's like when you're liked, you got a little bit of an advantage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with Danny Myers. I, I, I respect his come up. I've watched him come up from the bottom. Um, I've spoken about it so much. I've had a lot of ambition, for, I mean, admiration for him from his ups and everything, you know. But in a battle like this, we put all of that shit to the side. Yep. Ill Will is the, 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 the more 
the more flavor, like he got more flavor in what he got going on right now. Mm. Uh, they fucking with what Ill Will's doing, and I just seen Ill Will 32 niggas in a row, and I seen Danny have a debatable, which a lot of people gave to Easy, and I seen him have a loss versus Jerry West. So going into it, I got a Ill Will, and Danny, uh, you better be careful because hey. a stumble, a choke, a slip. Well, fuck around, get thirty. I'm just saying. And I'm just saying. Now it's on right, you. Just waiting right here for you. Stumble if you want against ill will. Come with some bullshit. Listen. All right. So if we talk about freestyle ability, they both got it. If we talk about bar capabilities, they both got it. If we talk about unpredictability, well, that's gonna go to ill will. Mm -hmm. We're talking about consistency. That's gonna go to ill will. Yep. Are we talking about choking and all that? No. But there's only one person who has that stumbly record right now like he's the only one yeah. so in the same sense literally everything that you said i still got i i, I i'm just gonna go with ill will as well i want i want to make it difficult i want to make it difficult but people like i like i said that trailer that danny put out was very entertaining hilarious but you still got a rap bro still got ill will ain't gonna do no promo no, no shit he he no <laughs> promo. he not doing nothing extra he ain't doing none of that shit. He's gonna show up, up. Mm -hmm. he's gonna rap, mm -hmm. and he's gonna go home. That's it. It's that whole water. Ah, gang, gang, gang. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so uh, I got I got ill will. I mean, it is what it is at this point. If Danny Myers is gonna do it, he can prove it. And if he does it, I got no problem with saying it. Who needs one. to win? Who if there's anybody on this whole card. Danny Myers is definitely one. On he's a hey, definitely top one. Must win. Must, must win. win. Must, must must win. win. We'll go back to those um in a second. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Geechee Gotti vs. Goods. Uh, Man, well, no, we, we got two I mean, yeah, we got two more, but mm -hmm. one of the last. As a matter of fact, Easy to Block Captain versus T-Top. We already really spoke about it, but yep. you can just give your uh, winner right quick. Still going to go with T-Top 2-1. Mm -hmm. uh, still got to go with the fact that there is a vet amongst us, and T-Top don't really lose like that. He's been doing more of the, the beating of ass than getting his ass beat. Yeah, I'm going with easy to block having two one edge, man. The hunger, when that, that hunger, when that hunger is there, I, I see it. I'm with uh, it. I T top could easily win this battle easily. Yeah. <laughs> this joint. But uh, last but not least, man. I just caught that. You, you, you beat that? Yeah. Okay, I got bars that go over the bars. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you got none other than um, Goods versus Geechee <laughs> Gotti. Goods versus, you okay? You okay? Are you are you good? Because I just wanted to make Goods sure. versus Geechee Gotti, man. Um, good, slick talk guard. Uh, Bronx, New York, respectfully. Respectfully. Uh, versus <laughs> versus Geechee Gotti, West Coast. We already know Geechee Gotti's accolades. Can't take nothing above him. He's been the MVP for like the past two years. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been doing his thing. He's been winning. He's been uh, everything that you can think of. You know what I'm saying? He won the champion year twice in a row respectfully and uh you know now he's battling against um goods who's a slick talk god who's one that can take what you do and neutralize it in battles that people felt like he was going to lose he showed up and did his thing you know saying against tay rock he, he did his numbers uh he beat cassidy and now you know he's doubling back again to battle against Gotti. you know i fuck with what Gotti Gotti does uh in his last battle versus charlie clips just my personal me personally, it is what it is. People can call it how they want to call it. I had Charlie Clips edging it. That's just my opinion, though. You know what I'm saying? Other people may see it another way, but uh, I felt like he was a little too. He got a little angry with Charlie Clips. You know, he was talking through his rounds and shit like that. And it is what it is. Now, what I need from Geechee Gotti, who I rock with, mm -hmm. um, I follow him on social media. He follows me too. We we good. Um, what I need from him. Is I've been watching some battles. I've been doing my homework. You know mm. what I'm saying? I know like exactly I, what you're about to say. And, been, and there's some battles that mm -hmm. I need from Geechee Gotti what? versus the Goods. Mm -hmm. I need Sue Surf's battle. You know what I'm saying? I need I need that Geechee Gotti. Mm -hmm. I need Tay Rock's battle. Mm -hmm. I need that. Geechee, I need that 2019, 2018. I need that perform. I need that Geechee Gotti. I want that chess battle. I need that. I need them battles that make you like, yo, this nigga right here. Not yes. only is he punching. He, this is where every, I need the battles that every fucking bar came from. Where he's like every fucking bar. I need that every bar. Like if he comes with that every fucking bar, every bar, not like the diet. Don't give like, me no diet geechee. Nah, I don't want the diet geechee nah, with the with the cut. You know nah. what I'm saying? No half and half. If he give me that every fucking bar, line for line for line, it's like oh my god. Like. 
That's the the, the Geechee know what the niggas want. You know what I'm saying? I know you've been he been doing the podcast and shit. Mm. And he been doing this and doing that and running business and all of that. But Got nigga, for this battle right here, this shit right here, mm -hmm. the this twin, shit. twin, twin, mm -hmm. mm, nigga, mm -hmm. I need another fucking battle from 19 shit. That's just me. It's over to you. Talk to me. I'm not against anything you just said because I'm, I'm with you because I want Geechee to understand that there was one point in time, shit. Even before these past couple of battles, Geechee Gotti was still one of the revered as one of the most dangerous niggas in battle rap. Mm -hmm. And this is and this is no cap. Right. But you are going against somebody who can neutralize all of that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't remember, but um, well, I mean, people remember, but the one that people seem to forget, y'all remember there was talks that uh, Geechee, yeah, Goods, thirtyed T Top. Oh yeah, it was talk. Yeah. yeah, there was talks about that. And then when you see it come out, I was like, uh ah. yeah. still Goods won that battle though. I'm just saying. Goods won that battle. Same thing with like the with Tay Rock, same thing. It's that it's those feelings that what did Goods do that made him not lose the battle? Or why can you make it? You don't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. I hope that's something that Geechee can point out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, who um who was good at it? I think the only person to me that like pinpointed Goods' thing and then Goods immediately stopped doing it. Mm, Aver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aver. When he was talking about that, he said every time Goods got that cup, anytime he could say something as soon as he take a sip, it's fire. And then Charlie Clips and and, uh, and, and, and Goods made fun of it in one of their battles. Now it's something like Geechee has to find, all right, now that they took the cup away, what else is it? Because Goods ain't had no cup. But he still got, you ain't corny, corny, corny. But you corny, corny. How do you neutralize that? That's not even a bar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Check the price on that before you write your raps. You, how do you, how do you neutralize that shit? Right. That's what Geechee has to find. And once he finds that, that's how he can edge the battle. But who do I have winning this battle right now? I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I I I, I think I'm in favor of Goods right now because Goods need. There's another person who needs to win. Mm -hmm. It's Goods. Okay. I'm from the Bronx, so I mean that that I'll tell you that I don't really got to go too much further. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck time. Corn ball. <laughs> I'm from the Bronx, so if he gonna do it, he gonna if if Geechee gonna beat him, he gonna prove it. He gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? He's done it at many levels before. Um, I got a lot of admiration for him, and I hope that you know. I hope that he brings us that classic. That classic work, cause this is a main event. Yeah, respectfully. One of you know what I'm saying. He's one of them ones. He get the main events. He get them big battles. The number one, <laughs> top slot on the card. I ain't seen Geechee on an undercard in a while. No, and Goods come outside for niggas that's cooking. He do the Floyd Mayweather shit. Once mm -hmm. he sees somebody cooking, he's like, oh, mm -hmm. word. All right, I'm outside. What's yeah. up? You know what I'm saying. So I, I got it as one of the better battles of the night. Yes. Um, must win. I feel like it's a must win for Goods. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My three win must win battles for the night. Danny got to beat Ill Will. Goods got to beat uh, Geechee. And Arsenal kind of got to beat Jerry West. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, Arsenal, mm. I mean, Arsenal kind of got to be. He kind of got to win. I'll see two of those with the Goods. I need mean, Goods has to win mm -hmm. to solidify his same spot. Because otherwise, every time Goods comes out, it's a debatable only win, win, win he has was against Cassidy, and Cassidy killed himself in that battle. Okay. Right? Um, the second one is, yeah, Danny needs to beat Ill, Ill Will. Mm -hmm. He needs to beat Ill Will. Yeah. And then my third battle, Chilla and uh, Chilla and B-Dot has to be a classic. I think it's going to be one. It has to be. Me, the only time that I've had like feelings like this for it to be a classic is like your Rum Nitty and Tay Rock. I, that was the potential to be a classic, mm -hmm. and it was just like mm -hmm. forgettable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So ah, it, it has to be. Not to mention, this just adds for Chilla. Mm, we don't talk about it often, but if there is a shoe in for champion of the year. Mm -hmm. If Chilla gets this one, he would jump in they front of B. Because like, every battle Chilla has had is classic status. Yeah. He would just walk away with it. But other than that, man, salute Ooh. to the subscribers, that notification gang, man. Salute to everybody out there doing their thing, man. Uh, 
We're, we're getting to the end of 2020. This has been a this has been a different type of year. Too. Yeah, man. It's been different. It's 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 the best way to to end off 2020 mm -hmm. and solidify that what we have learned is that even when you strip away everything, the the, the cream rises to the top. The rose rises from the concrete. Mm -hmm. Diamond is only made under pressure. Dang. <laughs>